Okay, come on. Let's go. Are you, you shooting bars now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Which bars are you doing? Harry's bar? <laughs> Two, three. <laughs> Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks is a funny, 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 funny man. And a genius. They were all, all geniuses. Because, you know, to, to be able to, under that pressure, to come up with the... I remember he came up with one line. He always was late. He was always late. Every time he couldn't couldn't be on time. I don't know what it was. It's a it's a sickness. But he was never on time. And one time he came in, and we're all looking. You know, he always had a funny line. You know, to take the onus off. And one time he came into the room. He opened his, opened the door, slid into the room. And he said, "Lindy made it. Lindy made it." <laughs> and we looked at him, <laughs> and we said, "Not this time, Mel." No. This time you got, why were you late? But he said, well, I had to sleep. And said, well, you better come up with something right away because we need a joke here. And we, about carrots. Carrots? Oh, well, let's see. Carrots. I ate so much carrots, I couldn't go to sleep. I cried. I saw right through my eyelids. It was okay, you know? He came up so with So fast, he's that fast. Fast, he's that fast, and he's just that good. And he's, uh, you know, he has a certain kind of comedy that's, uh, that's, that's different than the other guys. <laughs> And, and you went to work well. for him uh, a couple of times. You did Silent Movie and yeah, History of the Silent World. Yeah, I did Silent Movie. I did uh, History of the World. Yeah. What was it like going to work for him as the as the director? Okay. Doesn't make any difference. Howie Morris. Howie Morris is a funny, funny little guy. He's a guy that he gets himself into situations. He would physically, he's a marvelously wonderful, funny man. Funny, funny man. You could do so many things with him, you know, because he was a. Uh, he was so pliable, and he also, he double-talked German very, very well. He double-talked French very well. He was very, very good. He was, uh, he fit right in, uh, really, really good. And he's a, he's a great performer. He really is. He really, when he goes, he gives you everything. Really good. Nanette Fabre. Nanette was a, a wonderful, wonderful performer, and she learned so fast. She learned how to do comedy and fast with this, and she had a great voice, and she sang. And she knew comedy. She knew how to do it. She really does know comedy. And, uh, I was very lucky to get Imogen Coker and then uh, find her, Nanette Fabre, which is, she's a marvelous, wonderful actress and a great comedian. I mean, really, very, very funny. Some of your contemporaries, Milton Berle? Milton Berle started it, you know. He's a man that, uh, hey, he said, uh, let's do it, and he did. And by doing that, he uh, became, you know, he's uh, Uncle uh, Uncle Milty. And it's good. It's right. It's deserved. And he's a man who really puts, you know, he went on and put all his stuff on, on Shun Show. And it was good. And he made it. I mean, he's a man that uh, he was, he'd been in, in, in movies, in silent movies when, since he was five, six years old. So he had a tremendous, tremendous background. And a great performer. Sure. Jackie Gleason? Jackie Gleason was another great performer, a good performer. And he had a different style. He had a style that uh, that was his. He was like, oh, baby, right to the moon. Which he played a character, which was fun. And he had a good, uh, good he had a great sense of humor. And he performed well. Phil Silvers. Phil Silvers is another different kind of comedian. He was, a, uh, he was the, the best con man in the world. He would talk so fast and get those and get bup, 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 bup. And he was funny. He really was funny. He never stopped. He was like a machine gun. He kept on going, oh, we're going here. Hey, hey, whoop, whoop. And he had his own style. He was very, very funny. I mean, really funny man. Ernie Kovacs. Ernie Kovacs was a, an artist. He truly was. He would paint pictures, you know. And uh, I remember one time he did a satire of the Lux Video Theater. You know, they had the very big eyes and tails and the big timpani drums. And he had the guy standing with the timpanist, you know, with the tails and the, and the white, you know, the white drum, the white timpani drums, and bum 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 and it was all flour, flour and water. You know? <laughs> <laughs> great sight gags. Great, great sight gags. And he had a guy named Percy. He put this mask on him, Percy. Very, very funny. Great creative man. Very creative man. Really a genius. 
Talk about just a few other people touched your life personally. Your brother Dave. Dave was the closest person outside of my wife. He was so precious, so good. He was the, the world's best brother. You couldn't ask for anything better. He was, for me, a hundred thousand percent, a million percent. And I didn't appreciate him at the time, you know. I did, you know, I, I was always with him. I was with him for 73 years, I had him. And then... Uh, so many of the people who worked on the show with you spoke so fondly of him. And Dave, Dave was, as I said, much, much funnier than I was. He was funny. He really was. He wrote. He, he and I wrote the, the airplane number. <coughs> and he would be in the writer's room. Oh, yes, he was in the writer's room. He was with me all the time. He was always there. He was always there. When I got in trouble, he was there. I mean, when, if I went to anybody and I, get, uh, I, had, I got in trouble, and he would come, no matter where I was. You know, he'd drop everything and he'd, he'd come to me. And I was, and that was like, he was my father. He really was. Well, you say he was the closest person to you outside of your wife. That's right. Why don't we then end on uh, you talking just a little bit about you and your wife, Florence? If it wasn't for Florence, my wife, I would not be here today. And that's the truth. I was so crazy, and she put up with so much insanity. And the way she handled me, and the way she, she, uh, she got me to do things, and got me to get on things, got me to, to stop this, and stop that, and stop this, and, and she would, patience of a, of a saint, truly. And uh, once, you know, once you make friends with your wife, uh -huh, is your best friend in the world. I'm my dearest, my dearest friend. Sid, thank you so very much for my pleasure for all this time. Thank you. Thank you.